Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, I am going to give you the perfect strategy to crack the prelims examination 2025 because I am going to share my own strategy of cracking the prelims examination 6 out of 6 times scoring one of the highest score. Guys, many aspirants even putting a lot of effort throughout the year, they fail to crack the prelims examination. It is because their faulty strategy. Guys, if you do not have the right strategy, your effort will get wasted. On the other hand, if you have a perfect strategy, your efforts will result into the outcome, which is prelim selection. Guys, if you follow my strategy, the chances of you qualifying the prelims examination will increase very high because this strategy has helped me crack the prelims examination six out of six times. So what I have done is that I have divided this strategy into two phases, phase one and phase two. Phase one between July 2024 to January 2025 and phase two from February 2025 to May 2025. So now we are in phase one because we are in the month of September. So what you need to do in phase one, you need to cover the static books. You have need to cover the static books. So polity, NCRTs, Lakshmi Khan, history, NCRTs, geography, NCRTs and GC Leong. So like this, every subject has some static books. Okay, some static books, NCRTs plus one reference book you need to cover. And you need not just read the concepts in the book. What you need to do once you cover a book, then you need to practice some mock test based on those books. So guys, what I have done is that I have created book wise test. I have created book wise NCRT test and advanced test. So once you cover Lakshmi Khan, you take some 200, 300 questions on Lakshmi Khan. You solve and you see, are you able to solve those questions? Because in UPSC guys, what matters is application of concept. You may know the concept, but if you fail to apply these concepts inside the exam hall, if you're not able to solve questions, it is of no use. So guys, many students, what mistake they are doing? They are calling me, they are saying, sir, we will start the prelims preparation in the month of January or in the month of February next year. Guys, that is phase two of the preparation. Phase one, you have to do. Then only phase two is going to help you. Phase two is revision. But the basic, the fundamentals have to be done now. So what you need to do is that you pick one subject. According to the subject, you have a target that I need to cover this target subject in 20 days, 25 days. You cover that entire subject and you take two, three mock tests on that and see to it that you are able to apply those concepts. And if you're not able to apply these concepts, take three, four days more and revise those concepts which you are not able to solve the questions. Plus what you need to do then we are reading in phase one, the poly, like whatever static subjects. You solve the PYQs now only on those topics so that you understand what is the trend of questions so that you can align your preparation according to the PYQs. So guys, till the month of January, till the month of January, what we need to do is that we need to cover all the static books, all the NCRT because let, let me tell you guys, every year I get a lot of call in the month of March, April, sir, I have not done the history NCRTs, I have not done ancient India, I have not done medieval India. Who are these guys? These are, these are those guys who are ignoring phase one of the preparation. Phase one of the preparation, you need to cover all NCRT books, whether it is ancient India, medieval India, geography, polity, anything you need to cover here. Phase one. If your phase one is solid, your phase two, which is from February onwards, you need to here focus on current affairs and most important topics. Guys, I release every year most important topics from every subject. Phase two, you just focus on most important topics and the current affairs. Phase one, you have to read everything. You have to build your base. So phase one, if you ignore, let me tell you, phase two will not be that effective. Phase two only helps those students whose phase one is uh, very good. Why I was able to score one of the highest marks? Because my base was very strong. My base was very strong. So base building is now. Take a lot of tests now. Static based tests, subject wise tests, book wise tests right now. And this time, okay, from the month of February onwards, focus on important topics, focus on current affairs and focus on full length test. So after January, February, you have to focus on full length test. Right now is the concept building phase. Concept building phase. So for building phase is very, very important. If your base is not strong, then you will fail to crack the prelims examination. Do not make the mistake of starting in the month of January. You will repent. Guys, a lot of students I'm speaking to, they are saying, sir, I'm doing optionals right now. I'm ignoring prelims examination. I will start prelims in the month of February. Guys, February is phase two of the preparation, revision phase of the preparation, current affairs phase of the preparation, important question of the preparation. But phase one is the building phase. Building is very, foundation is very important. That is not what you have to do now. So what you can do is that if you want to prepare your mains also, integrate both prelims and mains. I'm giving daily targets 
and I'm giving weekly tests on the prelims examination. You can use the daily target to prepare both prelims and mains and use the weekly test so that you can assess yourself and where you are lacking, you can improve now only. You don't have to wait till the month of March and April. So guys, if you like this video, please do hit the like button, share this with your friends who are preparing for the prelims 2025 and do not ignore these four or five months which are very crucial. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Take care.